Hi everyone, it's the Anne and Phelan show, the Recovering Europeans. This is our second V-blog. Um, so what's been happening, Phelan? Well, I just saw on the news that Norman Burlog, the founder of GM Foods, uh, not GM Cars, uh, has died. Uh, a great man who will be fed hundreds of millions by inventing a way of growing uh, plants, uh, making sure that their yield was increased by seven or eight times, fed starving masses in the third world, kept hundreds of millions alive. Was he killed? Did it kill him? Did genetically modified food kill him then? No, actually he died in 95, so I think he, we could definitely prove genetically modified foods and did not have anything to do with hasting his death. So, uh, as the New York Times uh, reluctantly reported, he's credited as saving the lives of hundreds of millions of people by providing uh, cheap food uh, with high yields, uh, basically fed in the third world uh, very easily. So, but as the New York Times also pointed out, he has attracted the ire of environmental. Lifestyle for millions, which I suppose you know is probably what environmentalists are talking about. You know, they don't want people to live, they, they, they think that allowing people to live is unsustainable. You know, uh, well, interesting. The one thing I didn't like about uh, Norman uh, was the fact that he, in his life, said that the real problem facing the planet was that there was too many people, um, which is something that is actually that he shares that, that view with environmentalists. Um, otherwise, magnificent a, a minor, a minor transgression, I think. And, uh, you know, but I think you know, what New York Times didn't point out was that genetically modified foods are still banned in Europe. Uh, because environmentalism is so strong there. So, uh, and thank God they weren't, environmentalists weren't so strong when GM foods were first invented. Or uh, hundreds of millions would have died, and maybe, but maybe that's what environmentalists want because that seems to be what they do. You ban DDT, millions die. You, you ban GM foods, millions would have died. Uh, and now you want to ban CO2 uh, and fossil fuels and that will cost millions of lives because the condemned people of Africa have a pre-industrial lifestyle and a pre-industrial life. So I think the message is, in the end, actually, maybe that's what environmentalists really want. Maybe that's what they want.